Welcome, my name is John Brunswick. We're gonna be looking at wearables. Specifically, what can we do with the customer success platform to create a great employee experience and a great customer experience using wearables. To do this, we're gonna be using glass. And if you haven't used glass before, it's essentially like holding an index card at arm's length. What we have up here, that's actually live video from the app that we're gonna be using in just a moment. Now, to set the stage, we've Robert, our customer. He is a fitness fanatic, and he recently purchased an NTO climber, but it has some issues. Now, it just so happens that the NTO climber's connected, so we automatically opened a case and dispatched our technician. We can see here in Service Console, an Uber-like view, and we can see Tim's route over to the job site. Now, by clicking onto the actual asset itself, we can see the real-time status of everything with that NTO climber. Now, on the flip side, with Robert, he has an app that gives him that Uber-like view. It's the same app that he used to actually register his product, and now he's gonna use it for service. You can see here that Tim is arriving, and because Tim's in his truck and maybe doesn't have his phone out, he can actually use glass just to give Robert a message saying that he's looking for parking. So let's go ahead and launch the application. Okay, Glass, Salesforce service. The voice recognition on this is terrific, so we can do a lot just through voice so our hands are free. When the app loads up, we actually see our most current work order, as well as our progress throughout the day. If we go ahead and slide over, we can see Robert's profile. And in order to SMS Robert, it's really easy. All we have to do is go down to SMS, tap. Parking will be there in a moment. It's gonna go ahead and send it. It sends Robert an SMS, but what it also does is it attaches that to the work order in Chatter. Everything that we're doing up here is actually tracked against the work order so we get that one consistent view. And we can see here that he got the message in the app and he's gonna go ahead and reply. And when he replies, I get the message right here. So again, haven't had to take out my phone completely hands-free. If I go over to the very end of the first row, I see the status of all the different work orders that I've been going through throughout the day. Let's go ahead, we've arrived on site and I'm gonna tap in to actually look at the specific work order. I could go ahead and page through all the different ones, but we're over with Robert, so we wanna focus here. So we go ahead and tap in. It says there might be overheating issues. And the beauty is that because it's connected, so by the way, we're gonna use our imagination, the glowing cube is what's called an NTO climber, it's a big stair climber. We can see the temperature, we can see the RPMs, we can see the same thing actually in Service Console as well. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And what we notice is that immediately the temperature starts climbing up. And the RPMs though are staying kind of low, so maybe what that's suggesting is there's some sort of blockage or maybe the ball bearings aren't quite right. So we have a couple options. If we go ahead and page over, we could actually take a picture of the climber and share it with headquarters. Now, in example app, we don't have video sharing, but we could do that as well. So we're doing real expert, real time, all connected to the technician on site. Now, if I go over one more step, I might realize that maybe there is a particular fix, but I'm not an expert in it. Well, it just so happens that we have knowledge base capability directly within the app. It's not a separate knowledge base, it's actually the same core one that we share with our customers. If I tap into the step-by-step -step guide, this is actually automatically reformatting it for glass. We could see here I now have step-by-step -step instructions with pictures of how to actually go about the repair. Now, maybe that wasn't the issue though. And if I wanted to get yet another way to view it, I have the ability to look at video. And this is also driven from our knowledge base. So if I go ahead and go down, tap on video, I can now watch a high fidelity video 
of potentially the repair process that I would do here. This is great because again, I might only be on the job a couple weeks, but I have all the information right here. Now the final part to this is let's say I did know what was needed to resolve it, but I didn't have the part on my truck. I can actually do an inventory search here. So if we go ahead and tap belt, I just searched all of our different backend systems for a belt. And what's happened is it's come back with the results, but not only for what's in the warehouse, but also for things like nearby trucks. If I wanted to, I could just tap on it. It will automatically place a work, uh, an order, associate with the work order, and do everything again just through the glass. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at what wearables and the customer success platform can mean to customers and employees, giving them access to critical data at literally less than arm's length.